Hello my beautiful magical beans. Welcome to my channel Moonlight Royalty. It's your girl Cindy. Today's video I want to talk about being an energetic match for your dreams. Hopefully by the time I share my story and give you the knowledge, the wisdom and teach you about the importance of this is so that way you don't do the same mistake that I did. <laughs> Cause ooh 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 oh my gosh. Now you may be a dreamer like me. <laughs> my whole life I've always had big fucking dreams. Big ass dreams. When you're a dreamer like something about you like it's so it's so easy it's so easy to like be in the fantasy world of your dreams and want to be there already but sometimes what we want and where we are is like not even close to where we want to be and that's not to discourage you but that's kind of like the reality of what it is and dreams are things that you actually have to work towards they're goals that you have to set plan and achieve over time but as a dreamer it's so easy to like feel it as if like you're already there like you feel it so much in your essence that you just think it's there like it's already yours and that's amazing that's great that's great to feel that way but like i said where we currently are in the present moment and where we want to be is <sighs> the older that i got and you know when you hit adulthood i don't know something happens where it just like <sharp inhale> There's something happens where it just like goes crazy. It can be so hard to be an adult. But regardless though, whatever we've been through, whatever we've experienced, we are all worthy. We all are deserving of bigger and better things in life. But the thing is that we have to be realistic <laughs> about this. Especially if you want to build something that's value-based that you actually want to make an impact with and it's a beautiful thing to want to build something um you don't want to just have it be handed over to you because you're not going to be able to take care of it we've adopted this like instant gratification when it's not supposed to be like that you know back then we had to be really patient for example like if you lived on a farm and you grow your crops you can't just like plant them and then like expect them to grow right away you know and you have to be patient you have to let them grow and it's gonna take some time you can't just like want it right away and if you want it and you're if you keep peeking at it you're not letting it grow maybe this isn't you but this was definitely me like for some reason i was very impatient i wanted things fast bro like i wanted things fast i i thought like all right but a bing but a boom magically appeared and that would be so amazing we think that just because we go after something that we're gonna psh, automatically get something and that's not the case that's definitely not the case so when you finally do start taking action and going after your dreams and you're not getting the results that you thought you were gonna get you start thinking like oh what's wrong am i not doing this right am i not good enough maybe there's something wrong with me you know you start to internalize all these things and take it personal when that's a normal thing that's it's a part of the process it's a thing that we have to work on every single day so I am finally here where I have always been wanting to be at years ago but it took me way longer than I expected and that's what I want to say is that things don't always go as planned you want to go after your dreams and then some shit always hits the fan bro life gets tough and you just kind of like get tossed in a tornado and you're just kind of left like what the fuck like what is going on at least that's how it was for me i don't know if there's other people like that because i don't really see a lot of people talking about this you know like you see more of people in their success stories and stuff but no one really talks about like the journey of getting to where you want to be and the the realistic realistic reality of what it means to actually work on your dreams like people don't really talk about that that much when you hear my story you're probably gonna think like cindy well obviously like duh like why did you do that like are you like dumb or something um but 
there were some shadows, some things that I've had to learn and it, it is what it is, it is what it is and so hopefully, like I said, with my story, hopefully it could teach you some things so that way maybe you don't have to go down the super hard tough path and maybe you can make it easier for you. So anyways, let's get into the story. So this was the summer of 2022, this is when I moved into a new apartment and this apartment was way way expensive it was way beyond what i could afford at the time and the reason why i signed the lease there was because the year before that i lived with a roommate and it was fun you know like i liked having um uh, i liked being around her like i liked her as a friend and as a person like i enjoy being around her company um but as someone who's an introvert and spend most of my time alone like like it's just not my thing like I'm not really one to really have roommates so I was trying to figure out what am I gonna do I can't go back home like I don't want to be with my family because you know of the toxic environment that I grew up in like I didn't want to go back to that like I legit did not want to come back that's kind of why I was like you know what fuck it like I'm gonna just live by myself so at this point like I was already having issues like with money not really taking care of myself and not really knowing what to do with life and just kind of of like a confused young adult so one of the things that i did was to sign up for this coaching program that was six months long and by the time i moved into this new apartment it would have probably been like three months in like halfway into the program so in my head i thought all right i'm gonna move into this apartment i'm gonna learn from this coaching program i'm gonna launch my business get some clients get some money in at that point i was really thinking more about the money than actually being of service to people like obviously i wanted to help people but like when you're in survival mode you're kind kind of like greedy like you're selfish and I felt bad for being selfish but like I couldn't you know like I, I I was really in this like desperate mode of like I need money bro I need money because obviously I wasn't being responsible with it and whatever else was going on in my life at that time before I actually got the apartment I was thinking of where do I want to live what do I what kind of apartment do I want to live in and I remember one of the things was that I want big ass windows and I don't remember what else that I wanted there was some specific things that I wanted and I was looking up at the apartments every single day bro like I was worried like back then I used to overthink and worry a lot and so I would legit stay up late at night thinking about where I'm gonna go I was very uncertain about the future and back then I didn't know how to trust and surrender to the universe I would legit stay up late at night every almost every single night looking at apartments <laughs> I would go crazy go on all the different websites and look at apartments so then one day I saw this one apartment I was like oh like that's a cute apartment and I think I liked it because of the kitchen yeah I wanted a big kitchen that was one of the things I wanted a big kitchen because the apartment that we had there was a little ass kitchen I was like oh wow like this apartment hits all the things that I want I, I checked it out and I liked it and I was like oh I want it I want it the reason why I got that apartment was because I actually had my brother co-sign the lease this was way before I got the apartment that apartment because i actually wanted another apartment but i didn't get that one i already had like the application submitted and approved i just had to um pick an apartment that i wanted and at that point i was very ambitious like i said i signed up for this coaching program and i was thinking like <sighs> all right this is the plan that I'm going to have. I'm going to graduate this coaching program. I'm going to launch my business and get clients and get some money. And then um, I didn't really have furniture back then. Like a few years before that, I had actually thrown out almost all the furniture out because I was in this like decluttering phase and like minimalistic phase. And so I was legit sleeping on the floor, sitting on the floor, uh, eating on the floor. Like I did everything on the floor. So I legit didn't have any stuff with me. And so in my head, I was thinking like, all right, once I get this, uh, once I start getting money, I'm going to get some couches and like I'm going to set up this studio. I'm going to get some lights that say the name of my 
my brand like I legit like I could see it in my head how I wanted the living room uh, and my studio my bedroom like I had these ideas these images in my head of how I want it to be so I'm going into the situation like all positive and ambition and um, just super hyped up like legit hyped up and I at the time I really believed in myself my intention for that apartment was to grow and build my business it just did not happen the way that I wanted it to it did not because I moved in I was hanging out with these people and the reason why I was hanging out with them was because I clicked with them. You know, I clicked with them and I never really clicked with other people like this. Like, we actually had a good time together. But the thing is that they were broke and they had a lot of they had a lot of shit going on bro and the thing is like when you have one person that has issues they're gonna attract other people that have those same issues and so the whole group was broke as fuck and like s struggling and suffering and a lot of baggage and so i was hanging out with these people and then i was like tr realizing like oh wow like these people are not it and at that point i was a people pleaser and i didn't know what boundaries were like legit i did not know how to say no i didn't even know i could say no back then i didn't know that i had something inside of me that i just wanted to please other people for them to like me and so it was just a disaster bro like i moved into this apartment that cost way too much money i was working at a job that made me miserable and it definitely was not enough for the rent bro it was not enough for the rent i was hanging out with these people that weren't really doing much with their lives and they were broke too and me as a people pleaser i was i was trying to help them out and because i was helping them out i got lost i i helped them more than me that place was actually kind of like haunted like there was like ghosts there and spirits and then i had to cleanse them and stuff i've had bad trips in there i had paranoia in there um i've seen a shadow figure up in there like there was a lot of shit going like legit this was like the hardest moments of my fucking life like i can't even like explain bro i didn't really take advantage of the coaching program because i was so depressed and like anxious and worried about money like i was in deep shit bro like i was in like dark night of the soul that i could not focus on anything like even though i wanted to i wanted to like go after my dreams i wanted to do youtube i wanted to do all these things but i couldn't like i couldn't i couldn't honestly i think it happened because it had to happen regardless if that situation happened i still had to learn to be in my own power i had to learn boundaries i had to learn how to say no i had to learn to take care of myself i had to learn t about taking care of my health you know i learned a lot of different things and so my intention did happen my intention was to grow but not in the way that i wanted to grow i wanted to grow business wise financially wise but no I, it was growth for my personal development going back to what i was saying like you have these expectations of okay this is what i'm gonna do um and we think that things are gonna happen the way that we think they're gonna happen but they don't they don't <laughs> they don't and this is where i want to get into like you have to be an energetic match for what you're calling in <laughs> because if not the things that you are calling in they're so much more bigger that if you're not open if you're not stable if you're not grounded then obviously shit's gonna hit the fan like shit's gonna happen like it's not gonna go the way that you want it to and you're gonna be in survival mode you're gonna dig yourself into a hole like, i i think it might be a little bit about trauma like we all come into this earth and we have some karma that we have to clear and so i've there was definitely some karma that i have to clear from my past life and from my ancestors and stuff and so you kind of have to go through this period of clearing your trauma and things like that because if not 
if not you're not going to be able to hold this beautiful vision this dream this fantasy of yours because you're not an energetic match to it so i'm going to explain a little bit more about this so we don't just have our physical bodies but we also have energetic bodies i'm going to speak about this in the ayurvedic perspective where there are five koshas physical body energetic body mental body intuitive body and the bliss body and all of these have different different um, functions and how they operate these layers that we have hold energy that we have been holding on to that's where our, our trauma is hold on to if you haven't properly processed these emotions these traumas they're not gonna they're not gonna leave you're you're gonna carry them with you and you're gonna be feel heavy you're gonna be depressed lazy you're gonna procrastinate we have to have our soul be in alignment of our purpose and if there's an imbalance there's gonna be instability i'm gonna give the example like even if someone was rich people are kind of looking at them like why are you worried you know you have money but this person if they're not grounded in themselves they're not gonna feel okay they're gonna have the scarcity mindset that i'm gonna lose money i'm not gonna have money i don't have money to take care of, of my bills and stuff the stories that you hold on to you're gonna believe that that's why it's important to do inner child healing healing and like trauma healing and all these other things inside of us because if we don't deal with the shit then subconsciously we're going to be operating from that frequency of scarcity mindset of not feeling worthy or capable or good enough of not allowing yourself to be seen you know playing small these are just all examples that i've had myself if you don't deal with your shit you're gonna have to deal with it eventually the universe is gonna have you deal with it you're gonna have to learn about it um and so that's why you hear things about the dark night of the soul or if are doing shadow work and stuff and it's really crucial it's not just about you know living your dreams and being happy and like that's an awesome thing like obviously we came here to be happy and go after our dreams like obviously our true nature is bliss but if we're not balanced that we're not going to be able to experience that until we've done the work so we can't be victims we can't be victims and continue to have these excuses of like oh well this person did this to me or my mom or my dad did this to me or this happened to me in my childhood like i get it i get it i get it i was very into psychology and i've had my own issues and i've i've operated in that mindset and that frequency before so i get it it's scary it's scary to feel your emotions it's scary to get out of your comfort zone so regardless of what you've gone through maybe you didn't do like dumb stupid mistakes like i have but maybe you've done other things where maybe you were hanging out with the wrong crowd or maybe you were in an abusive relationship or maybe you went after a career but only because your family wanted you to but that's not really what makes you happy. Sometimes we're gonna have to go through some life lessons and that's really what life is about. We came here to feel and experience and evolve. We came here to grow. There's always going to be something that we have to work on and heal. Like healing is not linear. And that's where we kind of have to go inwards. Come back to ourselves. Come back to our bodies. To develop our intuition. To open up our third eye. To open up our minds. You know, to actually do the things that we want to do. To be in our fucking power bro reclaim our power there are things that you have to learn before you can actually live the dreams that you want to live because if the universe gives you what you want when you want it then you're not going to be capable of managing it and taking care of it so one of the things that you have to do is create safety in your body our nervous system is going to be hijacked our nervous systems are going to be in fight flight freeze or fawn response that's why you know a lot of us procrastinate or we get angry or we avoid or we ghost you know there's different things that will happen and these are just mechanisms that our body has done in order for us to survive we, we probably went through some shit and back then we couldn't deal with what 
we had to deal with and so that's when we start to dissociate and like run away and numb ourselves because back then maybe we couldn't and so then that's gonna stay in the body like I've been saying in this whole video so that's why we have to create safety in the body we have to ground ground ourselves because we can be very much in our heads and thinking about the future or being in the past but when we're grounded in the present moment legit like we're roots our root chakra like legit imagine roots coming from our root chakra and like legit being in the ground like being in mother nature like like see it energetically and like visually like roots coming down from your feet like we have to be rooted we have to be grounded you know how i was saying in the beginning in the video of being a dreamer and like always being in fantasy world and we're thinking that we're there and we feel it we feel it that it's ours and that's because we're not grounded like it's good that we have visions and we can dream and stuff but if we're too much in the head and dreamland then we're not present in we're not present we're not rooted in the present moment so be present create safety in the body regulate your nervous system you know ad actually educate yourself and i'll be making videos on each of these topics so that way you can learn about it and because i've had to obviously learn a lot of different things to create safety within myself overcome my limiting beliefs and build my self-confidence self-love self-care all of these different things and one of them is like somatic somatic healing and so that's just basically like doing movement within the body so for example dancing when you're dancing when you're in the body you one release trauma from your body but two you are in the flow you get like intuitive downloads you're able to be a channel from the source from the universe like it's easier to like be in in your essence because you're a free spirit you're not overthinking you're not worrying you know you're in the body each of us are here for a purpose on our mission and so we have to be able to receive downloads from source from god so that way we can allow the universe to channel through us because yeah we're doing the work this is our mission but also we are here as vessels vehicles for the universe to channel through us and then that's when you start to expand you are so much more open you're open to receive from the universe if not with our trauma you're going to block your blessings you're going to block manifestations you're going to block energy and gifts from the universe we legit can get in the way of our own success when we have let go then we create expansion we create expansion in our bodies in our aura in our lives and so that's when things start to change and shift the 3d is the last place where manifestation happens it all starts in your mind and your soul what you think is what you are what you eat is what you are so take care of yourself take care of your vessel because you have to be a strong container to be able to hold that and if not you're not going to be able to hold your community to build your business to do the things that you want to do you have to be responsible you have to be a leader in order to do the things that you want to do like i said in the beginning of the video we have these dreams but when we think about it we just think of it from certain aspects that we think of the shiny objects of oh i'm going to be rich i'm going to be able to travel to buy whatever i want do whatever i want go wherever i want we see these certain things that we want but we don't see the full picture like the actual responsibility of what it takes to actually live that someone who is a business person they have a business bro like legit ceo vibes yeah it seems like they sit on their ass and they don't really do much but a true boss a true ceo a true person in power is gonna be in at everything bro they're gonna be in touch with their community with their employees with their mission statement they're making sure that the foundation is good they're t looking at all the details there is a lot of shit that has to happen in order to live the dreams that you want to live so ask yourself is my vessel ready to receive this 
if the blessings that I wanted came tomorrow, am I going to be able to handle them? Are you going to be able to handle a business? Be ready to not only enjoy the fruits of your label, but actually take care of it. So if you find yourself in a situation where it's kind of hard, you're dealing with hardships or you're learning lessons, then let it be. You know, there's nothing wrong with you. There are just things that you have to learn. So take the time to reflect, reflect, learn, grow, evolve. You can take ownership of your life. So just because you're going through a hard time right now or if you have or you will in the future, just know that it's temporarily wherever you are in your journey that is where you're meant to be just because there's challenges and obstacles in front of you doesn't mean that the world has stopped and that the universe is against you when that's not even the case just keep working on yourself enjoy life be present and enjoy the journey enjoy the journey so that's it for this video i hope that you were able to learn the importance of actually being an energetic match for what you're calling in subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching this type of content if you want to learn and grow on your own specific journey thanks for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.